Our team's backgrounds span a range of disciplines, fine art, graphics, engineering, computer science, photography and theoretical physics. What we shared was an opportunity and desire to create beautiful and physically accurate images of a black hole. Christopher Nolan's movie, Interstellar, was the driving force behind this work. A key part of this project was the development of the double negative gravitational renderer. This computer code creates images by modeling the path of light as it's warped by the immense gravity of a black hole. The light originates either at distant stars or from an accretion disk, a hot glowing disk of gas orbiting the black hole. The gravitational lensing causes the accretion disk to appear to wrap over the top of the black hole shadow and underneath it. Distant stars appear to move in complex swirling patterns as the camera orbits the hole. Sometimes images of stars get amplified in brightness, split into double images, or a pair of images merge and annihilate in a flash of light. These effects combine to create the iconic images of the black hole seen in the movie. What was novel about this code was the use of beams. Previous work has concentrated on tracing infinitely thin rays of light. Instead, we consider small bundles of rays and solve the equations that describe how their cross-section gets stretched and squashed as the beam propagates through warp space-time. By using these beams, we are able to maintain the point-light nature of unresolved stars and achieve the smooth motion needed for an IMAX movie. One thing we noticed about our beams was they gave a very clear depiction of Einstein rings. These rings are the images of galaxies or stars hidden behind a massive body, but imaged into a bright circle by the focusing effect of gravitational lensing. The whirling effect of a spinning black hole drags these rings into more complex shapes, the critical curves. These curves correspond to regions in our images where geometric optics predict our bundles of rays would flatten into ribbons. Using our code, we are able to map these curves and their corresponding caustic surfaces, something that hasn't previously been done for the case of an observer close to a fast-spinning black hole. By relating these curves back to the movies we created, we were able to gain a deeper understanding of the swirling images we had seen. Our paper, Gravitational Lensing by Spinning Black Holes in Astrophysics and in the movie Interstellar, describes this work in detail. The work may have other applications in astrophysics. Calculating the pulse profiles from spinning neutron stars has been suggested. When Interstellar opened, people were excited that real science was used to create its images. We're now really pleased that in this paper, science fiction is able to give something back to the scientific community.